Home Team Heroes, presented by Sobeys, Canada's family grocery store. Hi, Andrew, how are you? Good morning, good, how are you? Good, how are things? Good, back to moving again, which is nice. My name is Nicole Costa. I'm a chiropractor and professional women's hockey player. I wake up early, head to the gym first thing. I'd rather stay in bed, but I always feel better after I do it. I'll come home, have a quick lunch, head off to the clinic for eight to nine hours, and then head off to practice straight from there. I think I've only done this drill a million times. I'll get home around 10, 30, 11 p.m., so very long days. When I first started playing, the only thing that I saw or knew was the NHL. When women's hockey was introduced as an Olympic sport, that was the first time that I really saw that women could play at a high level and women could have something to work towards. It was good to see that visibility there and seeing that I could be one of those girls one day if I worked hard enough. Short-handed opportunity for Team Sonnet. Top shelf, Nicole Costa, her first goal of the Canadian Showcase. Before the PWHPA, there was no organization moving towards a livable, sustainable wage in women's hockey. In order to support myself, I needed to have another career. The biggest thing with hips is just making sure your core is nice and strong. Because if your core is weak, everything around it needs to do all the work. So your hips get locked up, your back gets sore, everything's compensated. I love what I do, I love helping people. I'm thankful that I can play professional women's hockey, but I'm hopeful that girls in the future won't have to do both. What she's doing with her practice and the PWHPA, it's pretty incredible and it's very meaningful for kids growing up, little girls growing up, having the opportunity to play hockey and um, just how to keep going and stay focused. At times it is really challenging. It would be nice to just focus on one or the other it would be pretty cool to see how good the game could be if we were able to train full time. You're faster than anyone else we're gonna play against, so I can just send you. I give a great pass. Right on the stick, I understand the drill. How's work? Busy? There's only so many hours in the day and to have a job and play professionally, if you're not training every single day, you're not gonna be able to maintain that level of sport. She's very busy, she's got a lot going on, and for a lot of people it can be easy to just kind of throw in the towel and give up, but what I tell her is just stay the path. I mean, she's, she's come so far, she's worked so hard, she's achieved so much. To get to this level, it takes a lot of dedication, hard work. It's not something that comes overnight, it's been years and years and years of late nights, early mornings, training. But again, you get to do something that you love, so at the end of the day, it's worth it. Do you want to go one? Practice your breakaways? Oh, shit. I'm gonna pull a groin. Are you fighting? No, you're not. Yeah. No, you're not. Oh my god. <laughs> Woo! I just scored last time. I want to save some for this weekend. I think we're done. On May 2nd, 2019, 200 of the best women's hockey players in the world made a statement about the sustainability and the viability of women's professional hockey. The Professional Women's Hockey Players Association has launched a Dream Gap Tour. The idea around it is that we are trying to create something sustainable for the next generation of young hockey players. The group of girls came together. We wanted more for ourselves. We wanted a livable wage. And knowing that mission and having a sustainable women's hockey league was really exciting. And that was the first time that that was ever really an idea. We're not ready to settle for less, and we're taking great steps to make that goal a reality. Seeing how far women's hockey has come is really exciting.